Hey, this is Ace Bangler, and this is episode 30 of Building Inner Castle and Lego. Episode 30 already, guys. It's been a really long time of building this, so still have a decent amount of time. Uh, I, my goal to get this done is by Brick World Chicago, since I'm going to try and bring it there. Well, I, I will be bringing it there. Uh, hopefully nothing goes wrong. So if you watched the last segment, we built this wall, or at least half of it was already done, so we finished it up. And if you were watching the last segment, you would have known that I basically ran out of my bricks that I was using to build the wall. So sent out some brick link quarters, but sadly none of them came in on time. So that kind of left me... Since I don't have any like landscaping, extra landscaping pieces to use, I'm going to have to be a little bit more creative in this segment. I have a few ideas for that, but before we get into that, I did get a, one like a order, I guess, but it wasn't a Bricklink, it was a Brickmania order from the Easter sale, so that's a lot of guns, if you notice right away. <laughs> so it was a big gun order, so... Uh, also decal since they had those their decal sale I bought two German infantry got two free but two American infantry got two free and bought one Russian and got one Russian free so good time to stock up on those and then as far as these I got just a decent variety mainly including a bunch of car 98s, a bunch of M1 Grands. Then I got five each of the different sniper rifles. I got 10 M16s, few air soccer rifles, some Mosin Agants. Oh, I got a decent amount of the new MP40s. And a few Thompsons, bars, and that's about it and then our for this these weapons I got I think two type 90 or two type nine uh, hundreds uh, four PPSHs and then two MG 42s and then I really like these uh, special helmets the printed style helms so I ended up getting ten more of these I already have five so now I have 15 and what I was kind of thinking is for Inner Castle, you have some Germans that are fighting against the SS. How am I gonna be able to distinguish who's on which side? I'm thinking that the ones that are gonna be fighting with the Americans will have these helmets. I feel like 15 is a good number for them. And so this will help distinguish that the two different sides. So that's those. I got 10 of those. And then I did get one us medic helmet so pretty big order lots of weapons some of you might be wondering why i get so many weapons i've started painting them and now i am selling them so coming over here we've got some of the current packs that i am selling if you are interested interested in buying any of these packs just i have my email down in the comment section below you could find that I believe it's the Ace Spangler or Ace Spangler channel at gmail.com and remember if you want to buy these you have to live in the US and you have to ha be able to pay with PayPal sorry for anyone that doesn't have those qualifications it just makes it a little bit easier on me for selling them and shipping them out so sorry again if you do not but I guess it, that's just how it goes. It makes it a little bit easier for me. So, the first pack is the Car 98 pack. You get five Car 98s that are all painted by me. I'm trying to go higher quality with these, so I tried to paint as much of the gun as possible. One of these guys back here has is just holding one, so he could show you that. So I got the the butt of the gun painted we got the trigger the load stock area and then we kind of just have some rings and then the end of the gun is painted so 
those are going to be six dollars each since they're pretty tedious painting take a while so that's the car 98 pack next we got the american rifles pack basically just four uh, m1 grands and then m1 one the m1 carbine the M1 Grants are the easiest for me to paint, so those are only $4. M1 Carbine is a little bit more difficult, so made that $5. And so basically it has all the butts of the guns are painted, triggers are painted, the M1 Carbine has its clip, the loading section, and the end of the gun. So those are the American or US Rifles pack. Here we got uh, more of a sample pack that has five different rifles we've got the Arisaka, the car 98 the mosin Nagant, the lian field and the m1 grand this pack is going to be 26 dollars there's kind of a, a varying in price just depending on how long it took to paint each one of these guns and kind of just how tedious it is and how much paint is used in those so that's that those are the rifle packs now we're getting in to the LMG and the SMG. In the LMG pack we got the MG42, the Bar, and the Lewis gun. Those are just some, the reason they're, I only have them in black is just because I didn't have any of the gun metal guns so if you're interested in a black gun then this is what I have. These are going to be $12 each, or, or not 12, the packs are going to be $12, the guns are each $4 just because they didn't take quite as much paint on them and they're a little bit easier so those are going to be on the cheaper side and then also the the SMG pack this is going to be $12.50 just 50 cents because I'm throwing in the old MP40 for 50 cents I'm trying to get rid of those so I'm offering them pretty cheap and then the other guns you get is a Type 100 a PPSH and a Thompson those are all four dollars because they don't take quite as long it's not quite as hard to paint them I'm just gonna offer a warning for these for the type 100 PPSH since the handle where the minifigure grabs it it will scratch but it does cover it up I have an example of this I'll quick grab him so this Russian I'll move it over here Russian infantry guys holding one of the PPSHs. You see that he's grabbing where it is painted over. If I take it out of his hand, you'll see that the gun is slightly chipped. If it will zoom in for you. There you can kind of see. So you see where his hand was around it, it slightly chips the paint. So that will happen. But like I said, once he holds it again, it is hidden. So I'd recommend if you get some of these, only have the minifigure grab it if you're for sure wanting him to hold it. Sometimes I might have a few guns kind of just laying around the mat, like the, the display. So if you're going to do something like that, I recommend keeping some that are might be uh, used in the hands and then keeping some separate to kind of just be laid around as kind of an extra detail so those ones don't have the chips on them so that's all the business with those those guns as far as what I m might start off the segment I have some ideas of maybe inserting the glass I, I could at least get a few of the windows done uh, how I'm gonna do I am gonna put the glass behind the windows so I have a few ideas how I'm going to do that. I could start that and something else since minifigures are a big part of a mock. I've got an idea of a cool custom figure. Right now I got this one dark tan torso that has the German infantry water slide decal on him. And I'm thinking about painting a dot .44 camo on these. I only have one for now, but I have the potential to make it up to 10 of these guys at the moment, so I think I'll do this as my big project for this week. If this one turns out well, I'll try to make 
uh, get four more ready this segment. I don't know if I'll get all four done, but I'll at least get one of these guys done. So that will be pretty cool. So with that, I've been talking for a while, so let's go ahead and get working. Okay guys, come back after lots of painting and some other little bits of building. Uh, just a quick sorry, this segment wasn't a lot of building. Uh, I'm basically finished and out of time for what I'm going to do so I have a big recap about what I did the main thing I've been doing this segment is a lot of painting I told you before I was going to do that prototype uh, dot 44 camo I did that it turned out really nice so I just went ahead full just put a ton of time in to try to pump out as many of those guys as I can and I've got five completely done and Five more almost done so but uh, yeah just got the medic guy you, you're like what are you talking about I want to see those painted dudes so but I'm trying to keep up the suspense a little bit so here's the colors I use these five different colors two greens two browns and a beige so that's that now might as well just go right into it show you the first figs. Here's the prototype guy. Sorry for the slight delay, but gotta have a little bit of a suspense factor. This guy, right after I painted this guy, he turned out, I just knew I had to make more of these guys. He turned out really good, so. This guy probably represents the Dot 44 camo the best. The rest of the guys kind of more turned out to be like a, a mix between a splinter camo and a dot 44 but this one has the smallest dots on it and closest to a, a dot 44 so this guy just basically how I did this I explained before I have the water slide decaled torso there front and back so that's the only like thing before other every thing was plain dark plain dark tan. I went ahead, I started off, I painted the boots, the basic, just black boot style, and then I went from there, just went ahead and I started with one color, painted a bunch of dots, that was done, took the next color, painted a bunch of dots, then the next color, then the next, and until I had all the different color dots on and basically just, I went around and did a bunch of dots on there, so. This guy turned out really nice, way better than I was expecting. So, with that, I go in and show you guys the other five, or other four, I guess. So here's the f squ whole squad of five. Very nice. See, this is the guy I just showed you. And get a better view of the these four right away you, you probably can tell they look quite a bit more of the splinter camouflage like this guy has the more of those dots these ones not quite as much of just the dot and I did a few different most of the uh, the helmets have the splinter slash dot except for like this one that has more of a, a splotch camouflage. So the whole helmet's painted on this one while this one just has some dots around it. Did. Two of these splotch ones. Those turned out nice. I like how the look of both, both of them. But overall, these guys turned out really nice. And what's even more of a bonus, I did some underarm uh, painting and it doesn't scratch at all so that that just makes it even better so there's those five guys all look really nice so I went ahead and started printing or painting even more right here quick show you here are the rest of this the guys there's five here I still have to print or paint their their legs well at the moment I have the boots painted on them, but it, the boots take slightly longer because you got to paint the black on, wait for that to dry, get it to the right uh, 
air, like the right size and like what it looks like. Sometimes I have to scratch a little bit off to make it look um, as good as I can get it. And then once that's done, you wait for that to dry. And then you can go ahead and put the camo on. So I still need to get four more helmets. As you see, these guys don't have helmets. And five more legs that need to be done. So, But I just did get the torsos completely done. These guys turned out really nice. They got more of the the splinter camo. Splinter dot... Uh, it's kind of a mix. I... I I feel like I spent a lot more time on this first prototype guy and then I kind of got a little bit more sloppy with the the rest of them but these still look really good in my opinion. It, Dot 44 or Splinter, either one they both look good in my opinion and either one will work. I'll probably as far as the helmets I'll make probably two more of these more splotch camouflage and then three more of the or two more two and two two more of the splotch camouflage and two more of the dot camouflage so that was all the painting it was a lot of painting I also did a few guns on top of that so that's what the bulk of my time has been doing but uh, there was a little bit of building I, as I said in the beginning I probably do some window prototyping and as you see right here I think I have a prototype that I will that looks good for, to me and I think I and it's a size that fits on even the big windows which are on the front so it fits on small and large windows so it's a good prototype or a good uh, design I think it pretty much represents the windows I think that I see in the pictures so I think I'm going to go with it. Um, I'm definitely going to have to order more pieces. I only can make two of them. The one up there and the one right here as you see. So this is basically what it is. It's got the base that kind of sticks on behind the window and then just the window itself. So that's not too complex. That's it. I'm going to have to make like 50 of these so I'm going to need to order a lot more pieces. And it's kind of thinking ahead that with this technique. I'm thinking of how I'm going to do this kind of sidewall. Like I said, uh, this area is going to be covered up as long or as well as a wall that's going to come along the back of the castle. So this is going to kind of be the technique I'm going to use to cover up this side. I think it looks decently okay. I had to leave room right here for a building that will extend out here and then go this way so that's why there's a little bit it stops right here I was trying to figure out a sloping technique that I'd want to use there and I think this is the one that I'd, I'll eventually use I just need the pieces that I ordered in the BrickLink orders to fill in this space so that's what I'm waiting on and that's why it's not completely done so that's probably what we'll get to in the next segment but I don't know about you guys sorry about not having a ton of building but I think these guys make up for it they they spent a, I spent a lot of time on these I think they turned out really nice let me know what you guys think planning on having at least 10 well I have 10 basically ready five are completely done five are almost done so that's 10 uh, if you guys think I should have more in the mock, I'm completely open to that idea. I'll just have to get some more dark tan torsos. I, I think I only have two left. So with that, I think I might get... I'm kind of leaning toward getting another 10 since they look so good. So having 20 of these guys total in the mock. Uh, but again, I do need to get more dark tan torsos. So. Uh, let me know your guys' opinion down in the comments. Greatly appreciate it. And sorry again that there wasn't too much in this segment, but these guys, I can't stress this enough. These guys really turned out really nice, in my opinion. I'm looking forward to do more uh, camouflage in the future. Do you think it would be another question for you guys? Do you think, even if the whole torso wasn't camouflaged, do you think just like a regular infantry guy like this would look good with one of these uh, customized helmets 
Let me know your opinion on that. I'm open to doing that as well since I do have a large uh, a large amount of dark dark gray, dark bluish gray infantry guys as well. I can make them sp uh, stand out a little bit more with helmets like these. Just uh, let me know your opinion on that. And with that, I think we're going to end up the segment. Don't have the pieces to keep working and don't have much time left, so we're going to end it out. If you guys like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe. Shoutouts really help the channel. And thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.